Welcome back to our talk about trigger control. It's Thursday, so this is live fire. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna continue off of our Monday dry fire session, and I'm gonna show you some exercises to do that is gonna wrap up or kind of gel everything we've done with trigger control. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, to do this exercise, you wanna set up a target or two targets at a distance that is achievable for you to hit, to have a really small group, okay? That is if you're going really slow. So whatever that distance is, if you go a little bit faster, that group should open up. That's kind of where we want. Where is that exactly for you? I don't know. But once again, you do wanna be able to have a small group, the smallest you possibly can at that distance. But if you went faster, it would open up. Okay, so I have my target at about four yards just for purposes of filming, just so it's a little bit easier to see everything. But uh, for me, I would probably do this at seven to 10 yards. Okay, just depending on what I'm working on. What you're gonna do is you're gonna load make ready and I'm gonna talk about this here. So we wanna take shots from this index position again, always two or more shots. And we are not gonna start from pointing in. I want you guys to start from whatever ready position you'd like to, whether it is a high ready position, some kind of compressed ready, low ready, whatever you wanna work, okay? You're going to need a buzzer for this, or you're going to need a timer for this because you want to be surprised. You wanna to react to a stimulus, okay? So it's, it, we're like pretending we are walking around our house in a safe position here with a pistol, figuring out the trigger something happens, we react to that stimulus. So that's why a timer is important. So all you're gonna do is first, you're gonna start off with two or three shots. You can make up your mind, whatever you want. And what we're trying to do is land all of our shots in a, a zone, a specific zone, okay? You're gonna know what your capabilities are. For me, I'm aiming for that A zone on this IPSC target, okay? So I have a timer here. I'm gonna start from the high ready position, indexed. All right, and I look, notice on my follow through, I have my finger on my trigger, I'm looking at my target still to ensure that my target is down. If I need to take more shots, I'm ready because I'm looking at my target and my trigger is prepped. But I did not start that way. I started from here and I immediately just slapped the trigger. The accuracy is there because we're following the principles, okay? Going back to a previous video I mentioned, if you're fatigued and you're, you know, maybe your, your, your platform is not very stable, that could affect your accuracy. But if your platform is stable and your sights are there and your trigger pull is good, then everything is going to work out. So now let's do the same thing and I'm going to do three shots. Okay, so now that's three shots, right? On the A zone still, we're not looking for, again, the, the really, really small, small group. But if you begin to see that your grouping is maybe double your, your actual grouping size when you, when you shoot slow, then we know that the distance might be too far for you. And there's some, still some polishing off that you need to do with your marksmanship fundamentals, okay? Grip, uh, trigger control, stance, all of that, okay? But once you have this and you know, you're pretty happy, you've done this a few mags and you're consistent, okay? Maybe you've done 50 rounds and everything is there, you can increase the distance. So now I'm just gonna take a step back, you know, so this is about five yards. I'm gonna do the same thing here, okay? Now I'm gonna just do it from low ready, okay? Just to change things up. I'm indexed here, I'm walking around my house. Okay, so now I, I still have one shot or all of my shots have hit the A zone. One of them is on the line, and I'm still gonna count that. That's typically how it normally is. Uh, hits will count it there on the line. But notice how it opened up just by taking a little bit of a step, okay? Now, that is still okay because that is combat effective. The group is, is very good, but it, if it was wider, like really, really all over the place, I might take a step further. Okay, so this is something where we're not worried so much about our sights. I am actually not looking at the dot at all. Why? Because I am just looking at my target and I just want to force myself to slap in any which way I, you know, I want to. Just I'm focusing on speed because if everything is good, my shots will hit, okay? Will hit exactly where I want them to hit, okay? So 
Now, when you've done this a number of times, even by increasing your distance, now I would do more targets, okay? Right now I don't have more than one target in front of me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend there's a target over here, I'm gonna take two shots, and then immediately two shots there, under the buzzer here, okay? So I'm here, do it from high ready, index position. Okay. Notice I'm immediately shooting. I am not waiting. I'm not doing this. I'm not shooting. I go here and I wait for a steady sight. I see a threat. I'm looking at where I want to hit. And if all of your fundamentals are down, you are going to have a combat effective shot. Now the same thing goes. If everything is accurate and you're, you're happy with your speed, now you can take a step back. Okay, and then also another variable is you can use your shot timer and now what you're trying to do is push the speed even more. So my splits were on that last one was a 0.2 split. So now maybe, I'm, maybe my goal is to try to go faster and see where I break. So let's do this one more time, okay. Okay, so that one, the split was a 0.17. So that might be the difference there. So I'm all accurate shots on this one, I'm only using one target, but that's the whole idea. I'm trying to push, find my limit, okay? I'm doing everything from the index position. And in order to get that type of speed, you're no longer finding the wall. You are literally resetting and going through the wall straight to the break, okay? I hope you guys like that exercise. It's going to help gel everything that we've covered in the series. Next week, what we're going to do is we're going to do a recap of everything we did in trigger control. Now remember, these are just the wave ups. There's a lot more that we can cover, but this series is all about giving you solid fundamentals and master them. Do as much as you can to be proficient, and then later on you'll be ready. If we just keep piling things on, you're just, you're just not going to be able to get everything. You need time to practice, okay? So give this live fire drill a chance, and do it until you become, become very proficient, you're accurate, you're building your speed, and then later on you'll be ready for more advanced training. As always, guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. See you guys next week.